Hi guys, welcome back to another at home vlog with me. I love hanging out with you guys at home. I feel like we just can chat in the comments and just, oh, that's my, that's my oven. Uh, just, yeah, really get like a good one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a bit to talk to you about today. So I'm gonna get on with the day. Uh, the children are at school, it's very strange. I'm gonna chat you through some changes and still looking very much pregnant. Um, never tell when I show you but my dress is even too short because um, my stomach is so big so that's going on I need to talk to you about my low by year and just things and like mindset and how you might be feeling about that because I love to be able to chat to you about that sort of thing and just loads of stuff going on today so let's get settled in let's get a coffee and then we can have a good old gym wag my poor husband, look what he's been living with this week, all my DIY stuff. I wanna to talk to you quickly because Stu is just in the shower. Basically, I need to talk to you guys about his birthday. He is the big four zero coming up. And I just wanted to chat through like non-negotiable purchases and things like that. So I wanna show you something that I got for him before he gets out of the shower. I feel like, cause he's working from home. I can't like do anything in secret. I'm feeling like 2020 is gonna ruin all of our plans. We already had to cancel like the first thing we were gonna do and now book something else and I feel like I'm gonna have to cancel it again. So I've been looking into things like a present to buy him and I really want something tangible and I was gonna go for a watch and I am so thrilled because I have kindly been sent a watch from a brand that I absolutely love. It's such a lovely, sustainable brand. Like their packaging's eco, they're um, responsibly sourced. I just love that ethical kind of vibe. And also it's Scandi as well. So it's really minimalistic and just a really, really nice design. So let me show you. So this is gonna be his present. I'm trying to use a cushion as a tripod because I'm ever the professional. So this is the packaging. It's from a company called Nordgreen. I have actually featured them before in a gift guide because I love them. So it's amazing that they got in touch. So thank you so much. Also, you guys know I love to get you a discount code for things that I do look at myself. They have given my audience 15% off and the code is JJ. I will leave it in the uh, description bar for you with a link as well. What I love about this company is firstly des the design and the sustainability side of it, but because you can change the straps. So you're basically getting double the product because you can change over the strap. So let me open it up and show you. Ooh. <laughs> so I went for this. He's not got any watches like this. It's a charcoal gray color. So it's this Scandi design. It's by the same uh, designer as Bang & Olsen. And there's so many different ones. I should probably peel this off so you can see it a bit better. Obviously, they've got absolutely tons of ladies' watches as well. I knew I wanted to get him something as a gift. So it came with the, well, you can completely custom design it. So I've, I've designed the size of the watch face, the strap, uh, the color, down to like the clasp and everything. And what I've got as well, I've got to be careful he doesn't come down. What I've got as well is a black strap. So if he wants to, he can change over the strap and it looked like a completely different watch, which is obviously such a good money saver, as well as being really sustainable and eco-friendly. They have a giving back program, so that you can choose when you buy what program you wanna to go to, to three different charities. There's like uh, educating a child for a month in India, providing water for three months in Central Africa. There's another one as well, I can't quite remember, but it's on the website, which I just think is such a lovely little touch. And I feel like I'm really into those kind of sustainable brands and obviously showing you, because if you haven't ever heard of them, hopefully you will like what you see on their website. And, um, want to have a little look over if you've got anyone special to buy for soon or maybe for yourself or your Christmas list the opportunities are endless so yeah I wanted to give them a shout out first because obviously that's done me a huge favor because it can go towards Stuart's 40th birthday present so what do I do for his 40th guys because I feel like everything has just gone wrong this year hasn't it and because he's had such a tough year losing his mum I just really want to do something special for him so let me know in the comments fear not he won't be watching this I don't think he watches my videos but let me know what I could do for him that's special obviously it's really difficult I don't know if we can go away I just want to give a little shout out to my shelfie shelfie shout out I feel like it's quite cute at the moment this I picked up in in uh, Poundland you may have seen it in my recent Poundland haul it was three pounds which I think is a wonderful price and yeah I mean every single plant here is a faux should we say faux plant I think it's really cute that uh, IKEA unit was my very very first 
IKEA hack and DIY that I did. I love it, still love it now. So I've just realized this video, oh, it's sunny, it's so sunny at the moment. <laughs> I've got watch time. Um, I've just realized this video is gonna go live after my full craft so I can actually show you what I've made. Although not all of them because I've got two full crafts videos. Isn't it so cute? These were so easy to make as well and basically free. Well, they cost a pound. I love it and this is so cute as well. Is anyone ready for Halloween now? The fact that it was really cold and wet and horrible. <laughs> just missed my elbow. That reminds me of that, oh my God, keep doing it. Reminds me of that um, Del Boy thing in Only Fools and Horses. Anyway, uh, yeah, I feel because it was so cold and horrible and then it's suddenly gonna be an Indian summer. I'm like, no, I'm ready for the, water, the autumn wardrobe. Oh, let me know, do you want an autumn switch up in my wardrobe? I did it last year, I can link that one down below. Probably isn't gonna be that different because I've obviously not bought loads of clothes, but I just need to sort out my wardrobe and you seem to really love my last declutter video. So I think I will do that probably next week and the dreaded office I keep telling you I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have some water now with my lemon. I'm trying to be a bit better with what I'm eating because I'm obviously dealing with this as well as just the lockdown weight gain. I'm sure I'm not the only one feeling that. I just really don't feel myself when I have put weight on because I just don't feel comfortable. So the children are back at school now, which is sad, but I do feel like they're probably not gonna be there for long. I just think it's gonna happen again. I don't know if it's some sort of like shock thing that you just don't want to believe that they're back to normal because it might go wrong again and they'll be back here being homeschooled. I don't know how I'll deal with that. If you've homeschooled, well done. In fact, well done for surviving this year, guys, because it's been a tough one. I think it really takes it out of us, and I want to chat to you a bit about my low by year and how I'm feeling about spending, because if I'm honest, I have fallen off the wagon a little bit this month, and I honestly just think it's because I've had this massive relief that things are back to normal, the new normal, and I'm getting a little bit of a guilt now because I've spent too much money, and I don't know if it, whether it's because, and tell me if you relate, let, get involved in the comments. I don't know if it's because the school's going back, start feels like a fresh start, coming out of lockdown feels like a fresh start. The fact that we aren't buying house at the moment because we can't find anything and we don't know what's going on with the market feels like the deposit is not really going anywhere. And so it's led to a bit of a bad spending spree and I recognize that, I see that and I know I don't want to keep doing it. But I also think it's good to celebrate the fact that we got through this lockdown and that we have survived financially, although obviously I'm fully aware it could get worse. It's been tough, it's been really, really tough, but I always talk about this diet mentality of if you don't, if you're not allowed to eat or spend if you're not you know you, you need a cheat day here and there to keep you going and I just think that's what my spending has been but I need to now rein it in for sure in fact I think I need to look at the dates but I think I'm going to do another no buy at least fortnight potentially month because I think that will help me get back in check with things like that I'm quite a if I say I'm not allowed chocolate for a month I won't eat chocolate but if I'm like I don't mind, not, I try not to have it, then I will eat it. So I need to go cold turkey and that might well be me not having any, buying anything. Do you wanna do it with me? Shall we do it together? Maybe I'll put something in the group, in my best budget life group. Get involved by the way, best budget life. It's free to join and it's such a supportive community. I love how everyone helps each other out and it's a really great community. So yeah, come on by and join. But I think I might do it as a challenge in there might just do that now actually. Thank you everyone who got in touch on my last video or like at home vlog about relocating and how you found it and everything like that because it's really really helpful and it's just so hard to know what the right thing is to do. I don't know if it's lockdown. Has anyone else felt like this? Lockdown is just making me feel a little bit stir crazy like I haven't done anything this year like I haven't moved forward. I haven't gone away I haven't done anything different and as much as that's been a blessing in disguise it's been great just to be 
at home, be present, well, as much as possible whilst trying to homeschool and work for yourself and just be really, enjoy those little things and that is something I don't want to lose and definitely if you're feeling the same, write it down, like write down in a gratitude diary or even in a reminder in your phone as an alarm to come up in a few months time or a month's time to appreciate the little things because I think that is what lockdown has given us, so much time for reflection and time with our families We've hit the pause button. All of those rushing around, like getting the kids to the kids club, getting the, uh, you know, going here, there and everywhere. Suddenly we didn't have a choice in the matter and it was quite nice, wasn't it? Just to relax and take it step by step and each day. And I was thinking earlier, like when they first said, you're gonna have to go into lockdown for two weeks and the nation was like, no. <laughs> and literally, oh my gosh, it's August now. Uh, no, it's not, it's September now and we're still doing the same thing. In fact, it looks like we're gonna go back a few steps. So I just think it's crazy and I just want to remind myself to appreciate the little things. And yeah, I think with the house stuff, I just don't know if it's because I need to just like, or if I need someone, I'm quite spontaneous and quite like, if I want something, I'll just go and do it. And obviously you can't do that with relocating because it's a massive upheaval, it's so much to think about. And I always don't feel like I know what my head's thinking at the moment. I think it must be locked down. And probably George going back to school and suddenly I've got this, you know, much more time to focus on my work and I'm not trying to fit everything in. Let's see how that long how long that lasts, because I may well be back soon, but yeah, maybe it's that. Let me know in the comments if you're feeling the same, because I'd love to hear how you guys are all feeling about everything. Um, oh, we need to address something, don't we? It, feel, it feels like the elephant in the room. I do, darling. She's just saying, I need to find out what's going on. I definitely do, I just... You can't even see it because you. I just feel like I've got, been a bit lost in the system, you know? Like, there's no really, no one helping or... I don't know, I just feel a bit lost with it all. What I wanted to address was this new hair situation. So I got it done today. And I, do, I always think when you get your hair done, you need it to bed in for a few washes, don't you? I don't know if that's just me. And when I took the picture in the salon, I was like, it looks literally the same. But now I'm home and the light's different. It definitely looks blonder. Um, I went for this again as much as I put on my Instagram stories, which is Lara Joanna Jarvis. I put, should I go short or long? And I did some pictures. I'll try and put them on the screen for you because you may not have known when I had short hair because when I first started my no by year journey, I had really short, really blonde hair. And then I realized that I can't do a no by year without getting my hair changed because it takes so much upkeep. So that's when I started, well, I haven't been since. So last, I think it's been like 18 months. So yeah, I went with the same style as much as I come away sometimes and think, hmm, it's a little boring because it's just the same thing. It does last for ages. So if you are trying to save money, balayage, root stretch, that kind of thing, is the way to go. Don't go for a face frame, which is where you have the really blonde bits right up high because that will grow out so quickly and you'll have to have it done again. Whereas the root stretch starts like down here and then when it grows out, it just kind of looks like it's always meant to be like that. So yeah, I feel really happy that I've had it done because it was getting to the point where it was just like really boring and like dull and I was like, oh, it's so dark against my face. So this is my natural color on the top and then she does blonde throughout the ends. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. A tip as well, if you're trying to save money, so this, uh, play suit. No, it's actually a dress. This is from H&M. It's really, really old and it's long sleeved. But what I've been doing, so I've just been chucking a jumper over the top. You're not going to have to see. And then it's basically like wearing a skirt. So you're kind of doubling up on your outfits without having to spend any money. Shall we have a little look at what we're dealing with in the wardrobe? <laughs> this is like my nemesis. It always has been. So here we have the summer, autumn, winter collection all in one because I haven't sorted it out for so long. So if you guys want a wardrobe declutter, and I am feeling a little bit ruthless, might be getting rid of quite a few things, certainly putting like archiving, putting into uh, like the loft basically, things that I don't need at the moment. If you want that video, let me know. It's a bit of an ordeal doing it, so I will do it if you want to see it. But yeah, it's, it's a big one. As you can tell, it's a big job. <laughs> I said this over on my Instagram stories and by no way, I don't want to complain or whinge or moan, like prefixing what I'm going to say is basically what I'm about to do. But has anyone else found their skin has been horrendous since wearing masks? Mine has got like cystic acne 
I think I counted six spots and they were all so painful and I couldn't even, like my face was sore. So I don't know, I've always suffered with bad skin. I've done quite a few acne videos on my channel, like adult acne videos. I mean, I am of the age, I mean, look at these wrinkles and I'm still getting acne. So I feel like something is being unfair. I either need like one or the other. Surely I don't get both at the same time. By the time you get to my age, you'd think you would have cleared your skin. Whether it's something to do with my intolerances or whatever's going on, I don't know. Uh, but if you have any experience with that, or if you've got any recommendations for skincare, I would love to know. Loads of people recommended charcoal soap and uh, Paula's Choice. So I might check those out, but you know me, I don't like to spend too much money. I used to spend so much money on skincare before my no buy year. And then since then I haven't. So I think less products are better is choosing the right products but yeah it just really gets me down that and the bloating I, I don't want to complain because I'm so lucky like we're healthy and everything but I just it really gets me down because it's been eight months now of this bloating every day it's pretty much five days out of seven and the skin and I shouldn't complain because everything else is good but yeah sometimes you just think like <laughs> I've had enough a bit fed up so I've probably waffled on for so long today about blah 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 I don't want to come across negative because I you've not come here to get negative negative vibes and you know I love to keep it like the vibes high but yeah just think my skin and my stomach are getting me down after all these months but I have had my hair done so I'm feeling happy about that and it's Friday today that I'm filming this so you should see this on Tuesday I think so I hope you have had a lovely weekend and a nice week ahead don't forget to check out the Nord Green link in the description box bar for your watch discount and if you have anyone special to buy for then hopefully they will love it as well I just love how ethical they are and I'm thinking about doing an ethical gift guide this year I did do one last year I think but even more so this year I'm just much more into it you know like with my spending and journey I feel like it's a real journey and that you've been on it on it with me which I just love but the journey to more thrifting and being more aware and it is obviously no one's perfect and you can't blame consumerism on one person you know it's a joint effort so I think this journey I'm on hopefully can highlight to you all the amazing treasures you can find in your thrift shops charity shops and for me it just opens my eyes to much more sustainable brands so if you have any favorite brands please link them in the description bar or let me write their names I think YouTube blocks the links but yeah, write the name so I can check them out. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do love hanging out with you. So if you're new here, I'd love it if you wanted to subscribe to my channel. And feel free to let me know any uh, videos that you would like to see next on my channel in the comments. Thank you for watching. Lots of love. Bye.